You're probably very familiar with Crime Stoppers. It rewards you for tips that lead to an arrest. But now Crime Stoppers is strategically placing kiosks to catch even more criminals. 10 News reporter Marcus Grayson shows you how that program works. Dale Garrett is about to visit his son at the Hillsborough County Jail. But Dale is also checking out the latest news on the new Crime Stoppers kiosk. It's a very good tool for the uh, community to use. Crime Stoppers say they installed this new crime solving device as a way to take advantage of the more than 120,000 people a year who visit someone in jail. No, I'm not offended out at all. Owen, Curry. But it's not just out here. Even the inmates on the other side of the wall are tuning in to Crime Stoppers. Now they're watching the Crime Stoppers channel at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Crime Stoppers say they show their programming to inmates because they say it often takes those who've been arrested for a crime to find those who are still on the loose. If their tip resulted in an arrest and it was approved for a reward to be paid, they can collect that reward once they're released from jail. Make money. <laughs> it's kind of bad looking at that in a way, but you know, if, if that's what it takes to get them off the street. Crime Stoppers say this device is all about getting the word out as quickly as possible to those on the inside and out. In Tampa, Marcus Grayson, 10 News, WTSP. It's pretty neat. Crime Stoppers has six kiosks in Hillsboro and two in Pasco. They say it's already working, so they want to expand the program.